Hello guys, what's going on? This is your boy Larry. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A-Sports Talk. We give you live commentary on all our favorite sports teams. The Braves. The Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, and even my white Gators. We appreciate every last one of you guys coming through. Hope you guys enjoy the commentary. As we're uh, slowly winding down on spring training, we got Atlanta Braves facing off against the Tampa Bay Rays. A uh, split squad, you know, this is a split squad joint right here. So, But Ronald Cunha Jr. is playing this game. So here's the lineup. We got Ronald, um, Gilmore, Austin Riley, Travis Darno, Fletcher, uh, Forrest Wall, who should be starting in left field. Forrest Wall should be starting in left field at the start of the season. I don't care if we just traded for Kalenic. I'm sorry, Jared, but Forrest is out playing you. Uh, White, Williams, and Velasquez. That, are the, that is the starting lineup. Velasquez bat last as a DH. He ain't long for this team. That's all right, man. This is what you do. You testing guys out to see who could possibly be moved up, uh, who's going to help this team out from the beginning, and who you may put on the burners. <coughs> Shout out to the organization for not wasting time with Bryce Elder and send him down to Triple A. Gwinnett Stripers, he definitely needed. Definitely. Go and get. Stop Stop trying to get that kid right with a major league team every five pitch. I mean, five days. It's obviously that the first half of the season was a fluke, and he need more time to cook in the minor league. So I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. And right on time, man, it is 104, and Ronald Cunha is about to come up the bat. Baseball don't play. Unlike basketball, baseball gets to it. And let's see who's in the chat. So for baseball games, I might come in early because these guys really get to it. Like, they really get to it. And let's see. Let's see who in the chat. So we got John Brooks in the building. My wife in the building. Make sure y'all say hello. Three Dirt in the building. What's going on? Oh, man. Let's go 3 Dirty. I see you. Everybody, welcome to the stream. That's sounded for you. Make sure you say hello to the beautiful Shonda one half of the Dixon Way. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, man. If I say anything, man, the, the braids really helped me with my work ethic. Huh? Go watch that from the street, son. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here's a remote. There you go. What do you say? Say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> As he runs down the hallway. All right. Uh, Three Dirty said, this is my first base go baseball game with you. All right, let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Ronald Acuna Jr., the MVP, the best player in baseball. Stop playing. Yeah, I know about Ichiro, but this dude right here is a fine two player. Let's go, Ronald. Three dirty said hello to the Shonda. All right, here's the one in a pitch. Ooh, some delay, but ball one. Good out, Ronald. Let's go. And y'all know who he is. The MVP. Stop playing. All right, the one in the pitch. Ooh, swinging a big, big hat. Missed it. One to one is the count. Ronald Cunha Jr. looking to um improve. He said he still got a lot to improve on. Here's a wind the pitch. Ball to the outside corner. Just on the outside. Two and one to count. On a lesser player, that might have been called a strike. But not on Ronald. Good out, Ronald. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Ball way in the dirt. Three and one. You know you're going to take your base. And the most dangerous man in baseball, once he get on a base pass, you know he's stealing it. So stop playing. Lenny, what's going on, Lenny? Welcome back to the stream. I see you. I see you. Brace country getting up in here. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Ronald fouls one off. Full count. Three and two to count. 
And what I will say, man, baseball, the baseball season last season uh, helped me get my work ethic more in this streaming game, man. Because you got to have it to do baseball. Here's one of the pitch. Swing. Hit right down the first baseline. Let's go, Ronald. That's a double. Let's go, Ronald. The, let's go. Ronald Cooney with a stand-up double. Let's go. MVPs in the chat, please. Y'all know who he is. Y'all know who he is. How, Mula, I don't know how to pronounce your name correctly, so help me. Uh, how do you pronounce your name correctly? Say it for me slow, because I'm kind of slow on that. Uh-oh, no, no double play. All right. Uh, dang it, man. And Gilmore just literally swung at the first thing he said, saw dribble of the first base. Diaz just scooped it up, tag first base. Mayhu? All right, Mayhu. All right, thank you. All right, Mayhu, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the stream. I see you. I'm going to try to remember that. I'm bad with pronouncing, but I'm going to try to remember your name, man. I apologize. Appreciate you coming through. Uh-oh, big fly. Ball in the air. Is it going to get it again? Yes, let's go. That's going to score, Ronald. You crank that thing, Ronald. One to zip. Let's go. Let's go. Good hit by Austin Riley. Hold up. Y'all forgot this. Oh, my God. Austin Riley. Let's go, Austin Riley. Got a little blue single. Oh, okay. So, right field didn't even see it. Let's go. We got a man on first base. Travis Arno up the bat now. Y'all know Stone Cold Austin Riley. Y'all already know how we do up in here with the RBI single. Love to see it. Let's go. All right, Travis Darno up the bat. Travis looking outside. Ball. One and one is a count. Let's go. No, man, I could never pronounce your name correctly, bro. I could I know you. I just couldn't pronounce your name correctly. I call people by their, you know, their tag names all the time. But I can never forget people's right name. You know what I'm saying? So I know exactly who you are. You know what I'm saying? I just could not. Oh, man, swinging a miss. Go sit down. Oh, Lord. I'm not playing that, though. Oh, I remember exactly who you are. I just couldn't remember the people, you know, government names. Now, if I'm sitting there with a bracket, I call your name. Hey, hey, come on. You know what I'm saying? I know who you are. All right, ball, foul, ball. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, mate. Oh, line drive to third base side. Oh, what a catch. Wow, sliding catch on his butt. That's out number three. What a catch. Good hit by Fletcher, but better catch by the Rays. All right, but the Atlanta Braves, go ahead. One zip on a pop single by Austin Riley. Stone Cold. All right, mate. All right, man, I got you, bro. You locked in. Clink, clink. Appreciate you coming in, fam. I appreciate you. And, man, I appreciate every last one of you guys coming in. May knows me from my um, eSports, you know, my my past life, guys. So, yeah, he knows me as Shin Blanca. That was my gamer persona that people know me um, over the years. But right now, I'm just plain old Larry, man, giving you this commentary during the game, man. I appreciate every last one of you guys coming through. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Um, Atlanta Braves up, as we should be. Even in a split uh, split in a division little game that we're doing, uh, we still got that offense humming. As long as we got Ronald at the top doing what he do, get on base. And then Austin Riley coming through. Stone Cold Austin Riley. Hey, man, we always going to put up points. And I think the Atlanta Braves are in a position 
Offensively, I think we're fine. I'm just worried about our rotation and our bullpen. If we can get that situated, guys, I think this will be a playoff run and a World Series run. I really do. Jameson, happy birthday, bro. Hold on, let me give you five words. Jameson and Bill, what up, man? Happy birthday to you. Hey, man, when my birthday come up, man, I'm going to be the big 5-0, man. Thanks to my mom and daddy for giving me these good uh, genetics. I don't look it, but I'm finally getting gray hairs. You know what I'm saying? I was avoiding that for the longest time. Yeah, I'm going to be the big 5-0 uh, coming up this year. Oh, we got Mad Max on the bump. Let's go, Mad Max. Swing. Weekly hit. Good defense by Austin Riley. Get up out of there. One out. Let's go. Great defense by Austin Riley. Catching on a bad hop. Good pitch by Mad Max. One pitch, one out. Love to see it. Mad Max in the building. And they need to pay Mad Max. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I want, Forrest, I want Forrest Wall as our starting left fielder when we start against the Phillies. We need that. Uh, May says, May says, by the way, Larry, you got to go to the Atlanta United home games this season, bro. Uh, I can get us uh, to support the season. Oh, okay. Uh, right now, man, unless I have like six or three. Now, I want to get into soccer, so I got to watch more. I roughly, I watch, you know, a couple, so I'm starting to get used to But I don't know the game enough to commentate it. But, yeah, that would be, I mean, them United games look live. Like, that's the most excitement I ever seen that dome. No cap. Like, the Atlanta United games, atmosphere, they got the best atmosphere in Atlanta, in my opinion. Like, the, Atl the Atlanta United has the best atmosphere by far by any professional team in Atlanta, in my opinion. All right, man, Max up is one and two as a count. His one in the pitch. Swing get a miss. Got him with that curveball. Go sit down. Chairs in the chat. One chair in the chat for Mad Max. Y'all know how we do, man. All right, Lenny says, I might be coming to the Atlanta. My stepfather. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Condolences to your family, um, Lenny. Condolences to your family. All right, here's the one on the pitch. Ball on the inside. Lower inside. All right, that's one and oh is a count. Oh, watch out for Randy. Randy o Rosarina. Man, these guys can hit him and his brother. Be careful with this dude. All right, here's the one on the pitch. Hit him with another slider. He wasn't biting on that. All right, 0 oh and 2 is a count. We got two outs in the open base. I wouldn't mind him walking him. I ain't going to cap. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're going to have to do it on, uh, whoa, swing and a miss. Hit him with another one and another one. Uh, you have to send it to me on X because send it to the final round account on X or the Dixon Way account on X because I'm no longer on Facebook. I'm on no longer. I got banned for just promoting what I'm doing now. I don't know why. So 3-1 account, so I refuse to go back to that trash um, app anymore. Tired of being harassed. By that trash app. All I was doing is promoting this stream. All right. Here's the one the pitch right down the middle of Rose Arena. But great defense by Austin Riley. He throws him out. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Sit down, bro. Let's go, man. Raise on top. One to zip. Love to see it. And guys, I don't worry about records in um spring training. I just want to see the effort of the pitchers and our players to see how we work it. It's a split uh, squad scrimmage right now. So, again, you want to see our best players perform well and some of these young players to do it too. That way we can see who we're going to have in relief pitching, who we're going to have, you know what I'm saying, as pinch hitting and stuff like that, or pinch running. All that stuff is key, man. So, yeah. Let's get this off of there because LinkedIn ain't paying me nothing. Uh, May says, uh, for sure, everyone's into it. All right, that's what's up. Hey, no problem, Lenny. We all family here. That's what we call the Dixon Way. When you become a member of the Dixon Way family, that's what you are, man. 
I ran my um my fighting game tournaments like that, man. And I'm gonna do these, you know, commentating the uh, sports like that, man. It's always been like that. That's just inertly a part of me. You know what I'm saying? Also, guys, if you like fighting games, make sure you guys check out Max Mode. That's the new offline tournament that's going to be uh, representing in Georgia. So hopefully they have a great showing, you know, out there, man. I wish them guys all the luck uh, and success that they can get to carry on the tradition of great tournaments in Georgia. Because people forgot. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Kumite was cool. You know what I'm saying? But we see all these other people trying to invade March, man. I really hope those guys, you know, have a great tournament and then claim March as their own so more people from around the world will come to the ATL like they used to for final round, man. That's my hope and dream for them, man. Someone else carry the torch and keep it going to keep the tradition going. All right. Braves back up. Forrest Wall up. Forrest Wall got, like, he lifts his leg up. Like, that's some old school stuff, right? Ooh, that was a good pitch in there. All right, one one is a count. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get this up. There we go. There we go. They only have a strike zone available, man, lazy people. All right, I'll tell you. Low at the at the shoe tops. All right, it's two and one account. As far as Wall having an excellent spring, he definitely need to be starting in left field, in my opinion. Here's the wind of pitch. Low almost hit him in the shoe. Three and one account. Come on. And you know, Forrest Wall is a speedster. So more speed on the base pads. Love to see it. We ain't even got Money Mike playing today, man. You know who he is. All right, here's one of the pitch. Swing and popped up. All right, four count. Three and two. Three and two. All right, here's one of the pitch. Forrest chops it off. Great defense by the catcher. I mean, the pitcher to snag that. It almost bounced over his head. So, great defense by the pitcher. Throws him out. That's out number one. He kind of jammed him, and then he chopped it. He couldn't really get his the barrel of the bat on it. Ah, right, man. So, Taji Bradley is hurt. All right, now on... Um, now, the game is on Bally, so if you guys listen, it most likely is with the Tampa Bay Rays uh, broadcast team. Oh, strike. So it's one and one as a count. We got E. White up. Look like a tall dude. All right, here's one in the pitch. Woo, he got a hold of that one. Let's go in the right field. Is this going to be a double or is it going to be a single? Nah, he turned on that too quick. Single. Let's go, White. Great hit. Let's go. All right, we got a man on first base, one out, top of the second inning, man. Braves on top, one to zip, love to see it, over the Tampa Bay Rays. Sometimes I still call them Devil Rays, in the, but they done changed their whole logo. Like, it's literally a ray of sun now. All right, here's one of the pitch. Swing and a miss. He's trying to steal. He got it. Go. No, 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 my bad, my bad. Stay there. Good steal by White. Let's go. That's right. Steal that base. Let's go. Great jump, too. Great jump. Bad throw. Great slide. Most players slide head first. Back in the day when I was growing up, you, you never slid uh, hands first because players would step on your head if they knew that. Dirty or not, that's what they'll do. They'll put them cliques out. You do that, you ruin your hands, you hunt. Your hands are your money maker. And now they got those big mitts that they put on their hand. All right, toss it back. Did it get him? No, nope, safe. Would it get back, White? I like that. We got a man on second base. One out. One and one is a count. Opportunity to score with a runner in scoring position. Got the Braves do it, though. All right, Williams up the bat. 
Here's the one in the pitch. Ooh, right down the middle. Fastball. Strike. All right. One and two is the count. One ball, two strikes. All right, here's the one in the pitch. Ooh, right there. Get him up out of here. Punched him out. Yeah, on the outside corner fastball. Caught him looking. Ooh, good pitch. Definitely placed it right exactly where he wanted to. Ah, uh, that was a little outside, to be honest. That, uh, I see it, son. Yes. Yeah, he is. Uh-huh. I know. He is. All right. And all right, that's low. Lower inside, back quest. Velasquez, excuse me, of the back, the DH. Hitting in the number nine spot. Ooh, wee. That ain't really a DH there. All right, here's one pitch. Ball inside. Low again. Low again. Just missed the, in out the inside corner. The lower inside corner. All right, two and one to count, man, on second base. All right, let's don't strand this guy, please. All right, you need to get on by hooker by crook. Bunny. All right, he let that go by. He wasn't swinging. All right, two and one to count. Two balls, one strike. Velasquez is batting. Uh, he bat 173 with the Angels last year. Ooh, that's not good. That's no bueno. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Ball ripped down the line. Caught by the first baseman. Great defense on the screamer. Great contact, but better defense on the hot. All right. All right, we go down. Uh, we strand the runner, but we still lead one to zip. All right, thank everybody for coming through. My name is Larry, one half of the Dixon Way. My beautiful wife, Sean, is the other half. Guys, we provide you guys with that fire commentary on all our favorite sports teams. The Braves, the Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, even my wife, Gators. Uh, right now, we got spring training action, split squad action with the Atlanta Braves versus the Tampa Bay Rays. We appreciate every last one of you guys coming through. Yes, sir. As we get inch closer and closer to our regular season matchup, starting off in Philadelphia, so you know it's on. It's on, bro. It's on. All the stairs, all the talk. Come on, man. It's on. All hey, you know what, guys? I want us to not shy away for talking trash especially to the Phillies we need to bow our chest man them guys act like they punked us out so yeah we need look man see a man whoop a man you know what I'm saying don't be scared come on inject some of that football mentality in your baseball team come on now Nathaniel, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome back to the stream. This out for you. Appreciate you coming through. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Dixon Way. Yep, go Braves. He said, nice shades. Appreciate you, man. These are my Georgia Bulldogs shades, you see? Yes, sir. All right, Max Free. Mad Max coming back to the bunk. Let's go, Mad Max. Uh, Ramirez coming up the bat for the Tampa Bay Rays. All right. Mad Max it. Here's the one in the pitch. Ball load outside. One of those account. What's up, Matthew? How you doing? Welcome back to the stream. It's time for you. Appreciate you coming through. That's right. We ready for Braves season. Uh, I don't know, man. I hope RC is not hurt, man. We definitely need everybody, all hands on deck. We go to Philly. Definitely do. I need R.C. to step up, too, and not seem like he got too scared of the situation. R.C. definitely got some atonement to do for the playoffs. All right, here's one the pitch. Ball right down the middle. Popped up. Look like a foul ball, though. Foul ball. All right, Ramirez standing there. It's two and one to count. Two balls, one strike. Mad Max looking. Here's the wind of the pitch. Woo! That's oh man, got right in the gap between shortstop and third base. Great hit. Uh single. All right. They got a man on with no outs. 
All right, Tampa Bay Rays looking for a rally. Yep, Jameson birthday today. Yep, Jameson out there going to do it up. Spending time with us on his birthday. I appreciate that, man. You could have been doing anything. And I mean absolutely anything, but you're hanging out with us. So appreciate you. Ooh, sweeping curveball, but missed on the outside. High and outside. One of those account. Great ass up the bat. All right, free set. Here's the wild of the pitch. Cut fastball. Oh, also Riley. Turn one. Turn two. Let's go. Double play. Go sit down. Chairs in the chat, please. For that double play. Chairs in the chat for the double play, please. What's up, JB? I see JB in the building. JB said the Braves have a no-no going. See, look here, man. Stop it, JB. What did I tell you about that? Stop it. Why you all, why you all, we talked about this last year, right? Then we talk about this. We talked about this. And, and you just keep on trying to, how many times did we get close? And you bring it up in the uh, chat and then, womp, womp. So why are you going to, <laughs> JB want to see a no-hitter so bad. I know. Appreciate you coming in, brother. Appreciate the passion as always. Appreciate the passion as always, JB. Ball popped up. Nah, nah, nah. They already got a hit, JB. They just got a hit prior to that. They got a hit already. So it's it's not a no-hitter. Uh, Matthew said, if we have to start this season with Fletcher on the roster, I won't be able to send him back down. He's only four days away from reaching his MLB service time. All right, and that's out. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Well, not one, two, three. Uh, Max allowed one hit. So, it's all right. No, it's all right, JB. I know you I know you always asking for the uh for the no hitter, but you was you was already a little bit late though. Cause uh the first batter got a hit. The first batter got a hit. So we didn't have a no hitter no more. But yeah, I mean after that, Max did his thing and thing, so we gotta love that. Alright, let's get this off of there. Uh, let's see. You back home, though. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank all of you guys for coming into the Dixie Way to watch this spring training game. Uh, commentary the Braves versus Tampa Bay Rays. A lot of Braves are up one to zip right now, going to the top half of the third inning. The game is moving right along. Did I tell y'all before that I love this shot clock or the pitch count clock? I love it. I love it, man. And I usually do, I usually fight against new stuff. I'm usually a traditional type of guy, especially with baseball. Because baseball is like, you know what I'm saying, a pure sport that's going on all these stats and uh, numbers. So it can skew a lot of things. But, man, I really like the pitch count. I ain't even going to lie. Because me, as a baseball fan, I can watch a three-and-a-half-hour game, a three-hour game, but most people can't. So I think, I think the addition of the shot clock or the pitch count clock is vital. Games only last as long as a basketball game now for Major League Baseball. That's amazing. On average, it, it's like two-and-a-half to two-and-a-half two, two, two to two-and-three-quarters of a game. So it's two-and-a-half hours. So two hours and thirty minutes or two hours and forty five minutes at average. That's a big difference for three, for three hours in a minute, for three hours and ten minutes. All right, it's one of the pitch. All right, Ronald Cunha back up the bat. All right, Ronald Cunha got on base, of course. And then also Riley brought him in. Ronald Cunha got a double. And then also Riley uh, with a with a single. Got him in. All right, Ronald Cunha Jr. swinging for the fences. That's a pop-up. 
That should be out by center field. Yep, that's out. All right, James is going to eat lobster pizza. Okay, that's what's up. And got some clown chowder soup. And some lobster flatbread. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, man, it's your birthday. You eat whatever you want to. You know what I'm saying? It's your day. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball way outside. Good eye. Let's go. By Gilmore. All right, Gilmore. Let's get it. Gilmore, 0 for 1. I just wanted to pitch. Hey, good pitch. He swung at the first thing he saw the first inning. So at least he's coming up and being patient this time. Gilmore with that nice beard. You know what I'm saying? Here's the one in the pitch. Try to drop that hook in there again, but he wasn't swinging at it. Good eye. Two and one to count. Come on, Gilmore. Work this count. This guy been shaking his best. He definitely danced through the raindrops. Ball way outside. High and outside. Three and one to count. Great eye by Gilmore. Love to see it. Come on. He going to walk you. He going to walk you. Now, I wonder where I put my walk it out at. Where did I put my walk it out? No, line drive is full count. Where is my walk it out? Run the dang ball. No, that's Run not the it. Ball. Where's my walk it out? No, that ain't it. That ain't it. No, that's Money Mike. I got to find my keys, guys. I got to find my keys. Ooh, Gilmore rocking in the uh, single. All right, that's a single in right field. Let's go. Good job by uh, Gilmore. Let's go, man. Good job, Gilmore. Good hit. Good hit. No, wrong. All right. I'm tripping. Too much baseball. I mean basketball. Too much basketball. All right, let's see if this is it. No, that's not a sign. I got to add walk it out again. I got to add walk it out. Ooh, strike on the outside corner of Austin Riley. Sit there watching it. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ooh, Austin Ryder with a rocket into the center field. That could be in the gap. All right, let's go. Oh, what a cutoff. Austin Riley has to peel back and turn around, but he advanced the run over the third base. Great hit by Austin Riley. Let's go. Hey, that's a hit. Hey, you know why? Because Stone Cold said so. Come on. All right, man, thank you guys for coming in. Atlanta Braves trying to put some more runs on the board. We got a man on third, man on first, one out. Travis Darno up the bat. Come on, Travis. Here's one of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good curveball on the outside corner. Hate to see it. Should have took on that. He definitely is not throwing right. Now, we didn't get a homer in the first inning, man. Ronald got a double, then also Riley got a single. And that's how we score. Because you know, uh, Ronald going to score on any single. It was hitting the gap, pop up, pop up single. Like a little bloop single. Ronald was running on contact. All right, one one is a count. Travis Darno up. Here's the wide end of the pitch. But way outside, good eye by Travis. That's right, don't fish. Don't fish. All right, two and one account. Travis Arno struck out his first attempt. Come on, Travis. Let's get it. Five, four, three. All right, he pitching. Travis Arno got a hold of one. It's going back, back to the wall. Into the gap. Oh, what a catch. He turns around. Throwing it back to second. All right, but it's a sacrifice. Let's go, man. Sacrifice fly by Travis Arno. Let's go. Yes, sir. It's two to zip right now. 
Great catch in the center field. What a layout catch. I thought that was going into the gap. I ain't even going to lie. Wow, what a catch right there. Magnificent my Magic Man in the building. What up, Magic Man? I see you. Do all those fast and easy and free things. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, follow. Ball hit into uh, first base side. Uh, is he going to try rent a rear? Ooh. All right. Yes. Yes. Great hit. Is that uh? Oh, that's Fletcher. All right. Let's go, Fletcher. Great hit by Fletcher. Great hit by Fletcher. Fletcher. Line that ball right into uh first base side. Advance the runner all the way from first base to third base. Great piece of hitting. Matthew said Freed and Schreider both look nasty. I think the new curveball is going to help. Oh, it's definitely going to help. Oh, Forrest Wall getting jammed up again. That might be the hole in his bat right there, throwing it high and in, inside. Because he's been batting well throughout the um, spring training. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. They went out of focus. That hurt my eyes. Uh, Foul ball 0-2 quickly in the hole. We got two outs, two men on. Oh, yeah. They'll definitely be, man. I just want them to re-sign free, man. You can't let free go. We cannot let free go when we do not have anyone to replace him. We don't. We don't have anyone to replace him on this staff. We simply don't. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Swing and a miss. Yep. Inside is where you get for us right now. At least that's the book looking like they forming on him. What do you mean? This one? Run the dang ball. Run the dang ball. But that was his best run of the season. I got to show that. That's literally the best run of the season, Magic Man. That's not a jab at you. That's just like the best run he had that season. Now, if he have a better run next season, we can clip that and then change it. I'm just saying, what you got to be honest. Wasn't that the best run he had this season? Like, really? That was the best run he had this season. That's why it's, that's why it's a clip. Match man said all the blue booze. Alba <laughs> <laughs> Molina in the building. What up, Alberto? How you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream. I see you. Who do I dislike most in the ML in MLB? Uh, not anyone really. I'm mainly man. Look, man. If anybody learned anything about me, I mainly concern myself about my team. You know what I'm saying? So, really, Bryce Elder? Snit at times? But nobody, really. Like, I don't hate anyone. You know what I'm saying? In Major League Baseball. I may hate some of our performances, but I don't hate any Braves player. I think they can get better. You know what I'm saying? I think, uh, that Bryce Elder need to go back down to uh, spring, you know, go back down to Triple A, find himself, and come back. He was thrusted into the um, starting role, and he had a great first half of the season. But the second half of the season, it seemed like the uh, Major League Baseball found out what he was and got the book on him. So, you know. Yeah, like teams, like rivalry teams, like the Mets and the Phillies, of course. Yeah, yeah, teams. But one player? No, nah, I don't hate one player. All right, great defense. Step on the bag. Good defense. All right, that's one out. One pitch, one out. Love to see that. Max Free Dylan getting a lot of down, uh, ground balls. And you know that sinker and that uh, that sinker slash slider is working real good when a lot of balls are hitting the ground, hitting the turf. Easy out. Yeah, Free is dealing right now. We got to resign Free, man. We have to. Alberto said, Matthew, I dislike. This. Yeah. Uh, Dodgers, old school rivalry between the Braves when they was in the NL West. Yes. Uh, the Red Sox. 
I don't even care about the Red Sox. That's not any of our rival, to be honest. Ooh, great curveball right there. And you know Max Free is the one who taught Spencer Schreider that curveball. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that, right? All right. So, all right. All right. Here's one of the pitch. High fastball. I like that. I like the change of pace because when you throw that big hook like that, the ball is coming out of there, that thing. So, you throw a high fastball like that, it's coming up on you. It kind of looks like it and it fools you. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that sequence. All right, here's one of the pitch. Low it outside. All right, two and two to count. Trying to get in the fish. Jameson, I think everybody knows it's your birthday, bro. You really don't have to spam the chat anymore. Please. All right, ball hit in the right field. Runner underneath it. Caught that. Yeah, Matthew says, uh, I'm afraid Free is probably going to leave. I doubt Double A pays him on $200 million. He would likely cost. Yeah, unfortunately, man. Like, look, man. If there's one thing I know about Alex Anthopoulos. Alex Anthopoulos is going to pay you if he wants you. If, he, if you're supposed to be here, he'll pay you. All right, two to zip. Uh, ooh, that looked like a strike. Very questionable call by the umpire. Low and outside. One of those accounts. It's 2-0, bottom half of the third inning. Two outs. Max Free dealing. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball, center cut. But Ronald is running. Ronald, running, 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 running. Caught it. Let's go, Ronald. MVP catch. One, two, three. Let's go, man. We have to sign. We have to re-sign Matt Max, man. Like, uh, it, it's imperative, man, to our... It is imperative to our success. Even if... Uh, Smith Shaw and Smith Shaw got sent back down to Triple A. Smith Shaw can only get through three innings, guys. He only got three innings worth of stuff right now, and that's unfortunate because he got all the tools. He just mentally ain't put it together yet. And once the lineup go through him one time, you know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of curtains to be honest. I mean, I'm just keeping it a buck. So he might get through the lineup twice. That's it, man. And once he's able to get through the line and mentally, you know what I'm saying, know how to set people up and have a game plan and know how to execute it, then, yeah, that's what he's going to take. Because he got all the tools. I think Smith Shaw just got to get it up here. You know what I'm saying? That's it. He got the tools. Um, uh, was Cousins a huge overpay? No, he wasn't. Would Would I rather have Fields and Wilson as an option? Yeah, but I think we got the best. I mean, if you're talking about salary cap wise, yeah, to be able to build the team, yes, yes, that's a much better option to be able to fill out the team. But again, the Atlanta Falcons got the best quarterback and the best free agent on on the market, man. That's what they did. They want an elite processor, and that's what they got. And we can't say that Russell Wilson is an elite processor of plays anymore. And we know Justin Field is not an elite processor yet of passing the football. So, look, was Captain Kurt my first choice? Heck no. But I'm 100% behind Kurt, man. I'm looking back. Hey, Justin Fields and and um, Russell Wilson are not on my team, so I don't care about them. You know what I'm saying? Would that have been an option? Yes, but it wasn't. It didn't happen, so I'm moving on on that, man. I'm worried about guys we got on our team. Kimberly Rogers, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's time for you. Appreciate you coming through. All right, we're the top half of the fourth inning, man. Braves on top, two to zip. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ooh, ball inside. They got a new pitcher. Fastball came in, low and in. Ball one. One of to count. All right, White up the bat. White got a single the last inning. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball way outside. Don't you call that a strike. He tried to frame it, but no, sir. Good eye by the ref, by the ump. Good call, ump. All right, the pitch is set. Here's the wind the pitch. All right, center cut, but just missed it. 
And that's going to be a pop-up. Renteria is underneath it. I think so. No, Rosario. Sorry. Rosario. Go Atlanta Braves. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you say you're excited about listening to me to call the Falcon games? Okay. We got a long time to that, brother, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, Williams up the bat in the eight hole. Is the wind the pitch. Ball straight down the middle. Strike one. Caught him looking. This dude got a very baby face. This is a baby right here. Struck out his first attempt. All right, let's, let's rectify that. Here's one of the pitch. Tried to hit him with a slider, but was not taken on the one on one account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arthur Blank was not trying to um, rebuild, and Terry Fondo can't afford to rebuild. Here's the one of the pitch. Ball way outside. Good hook. Good curveball on the outside corner uh, or a slider. One and two is a count. Uh, Kimberly, not really sure. Got to look at the schedule. Actually, after this game, I'm going to be looking to see what games I'm going to put on. So I don't know. It just it really depends on what we're doing with the Braves and with the Hawks on what we're going to be able to show. I'm not really sure what we're going to be able to show. Ooh, swing and I miss. Williams down again on strikeouts. Hate to see it. Womp womp. got Velasquez pitching in a DH at the nine spot. Goodness. My wife said, let's go Braves. Y'all make sure you say hello to the beautiful Shonda. I'm going to have a dick away. Say hello, babe. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's a home run if it's fair. If it's fair, it's gone. And that thing gone. Let's go. Was it a foul? Oh no, that was a home run. Let's go. Let's go. See that baby you came out and look what happened. Home run by Andrew Velasquez. Being a DH and being a real designated hitter. Ronald gives him five. Let's go, Braves. Three to zip. Two out. Dinger. Love to see it. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm coming in. Huh? Might be. Ronald was swinging for the fences on a back to back. Hold off that short idea, babe. <laughs> Said hold off on that short. Ronald might go back to back. I got to find walking out. I don't see it. Maybe. I hope not. All right, here's the one of the pitch. Ooh, ball straight down the middle. Ronald just caught looking at it. Oh, and two is the count. Ronald's one for two for today. Top half of the fourth inning. Two outs. Nobody on. My wife says she needs coffee. I'm coffee. All right, here's the one of the pitch. Ball dribbled up there. Good eye by the MVP. Put your pocket square in, Ronald. You better than that. Okay. okay. Ronald. Here's one in the pitch. Foul that off. Way to battle, Ronald. One and two is the count.
All right, here's one of the pitch. Rono got underneath that fastball right down the middle. Good eye by Rono. All right, here come that curveball again. Here come the curveball. The reigning NL MVP. Stop playing with Rono, man. Stop playing with Rono Acuna Jr. Here's one of the pitch. Ball chopped off. Way to battle in there, Rono. Oh, this is a long at bat right here. Love to see it. Rono had hit 337 last year, second. Only behind uh, Freddie. 41 home run, fifth. 106 RBI, sixth. 70-something steals, first. Ooh, swing and a miss. I told you the hook was coming. <laughs> I told you the hook was coming. I told you the hook was coming, man. Good bitch. Runner playing around, tapping the uh, catcher on his head. We were talking jump. Don't do that, Ronald. Because some some umpires might not know that y'all know each other and y'all just, you know, kidding around. Even if it's a little tap. But, man, thank all you guys coming through. Uh, my name's Larry, one half of the Dixon way. My beautiful wife, Sean, is the other half. Guys, we try to provide you guys with informative and very entertaining uh, commentary throughout all our favorite sports teams. That's the Atlanta Braves, Hawks, Falcons, Bulldogs, and even my wife's Gators. We appreciate every last one of you guys coming through. I hope you guys enjoy the commentary and the content. If so, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Ding, ding. Get all our latest videos. We appreciate every last one of you guys coming through. Hope you guys. Uh, stay around, become a part of the Dixon Way family. One sub and one follower at a time. All right. And the game is quickly going by, man. Uh, it is the bottom half of the fourth inning. Tom Bay Rays coming out right now. You got Diaz Lowe and Arizaria coming up the bat. Is Mad Max still in there? Mad Max still in the game? I I assume so. These are like the warm up. This is the last start he gonna have until the um the second game of the between the fellas. Ideas of the bat. Here's one in the pitch. Very dangerous hitter. One and O's account, one ball, no strikes. Be careful. It's one in the pitch. Ooh, chopped off. One and one's account. Nasty curveball right there. He was not on top of it. He flailed at that one. Yeah, he's looking like, ooh, I got food on that one. Got to be careful. Playboy Johnny, what's up, man? Appreciate you coming through. Welcome to the stream. It's sounding for you. All right, here's one in the pitch. Swing, yeah, he can't catch up to that curveball. It got him off balance. He's swinging and chopping at that, trying to save it. He's looking for an inside fastball. Don't throw it to him. Uh, all right. One two is the count. Pitcher's count. One ball, two strikes. Mad Max looking. Here come another hook. Nope, fastball high. He wanted to um, jump on that. I like the sequence. Just didn't get in the fish. All right, two and two to count. All right, Jameson, happy birthday. Go take it easy. Have fun on your birthday. Here's the wind the pitch. Try to get him down with a low fastball. Full count. Three and two. Yeah, yeah, I ain't waking up to see that. I'll check out the highlights. <laughs> yeah, because they in the future in Korea. That's why they starting the season. Actually, the, uh, they already played a in a squad game against the Korean national team versus um yeah the Dodgers so they already did that all right and that's a walk by free good eye by Diaz not swinging on that hook try to get him on the swing at a high curveball he ain't swing through it 
All right, that's the walk right there. All right, got a man on first base, no outs. 35 pitches for Max Freed in, in, in four innings. Excellent. Excellent by Max Freed. Super efficient. Max Freed looking. Here's one of the pitch. Ball, fastball outside. All right, we got a left-hander up the bat. Low. Lows up the bat. Left-hander. Shrug out in the first inning. Let's do it again. All right, here's one of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nasty slider by Spence, by uh, Max Reed. Love to see it. All right, here's one of the pitch. Ball lined it to the crowd. Whoa, they need a net right there. Ooh, them people just missed a screamer coming through there. Foul ball. Hopefully everybody's okay. All right. Ball popped up. Uh, Who got it? Who got it? All right, good defense. Let's go. Low popped it up. No harm, no foul. Let's go. All right, we need to get a double play right now. Matthew, I see what you're saying, man, but I think we need those roster spots for more bullpen help. I think our bullpen is more concerning than a, a guy just in case Olsen gets hurt. He can be brought back up if that's the case. We need a roster spot for more arms, more capable arms in our bullpen, to be honest. Good hook on the outside corner, Max Freed. Oh, babe, you just seeing Magic Man? Yeah, you probably was on the call. Magic Man been in here. On two to count. Let's go, Mad Max. Let's get this double play right here. Here's one in the pitch. Ball. Let's go. Go sit down. Chairs in the chat. Two chairs in the chat. I think Strider got two strikeouts today. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Struck it. Mount. Fast. Fastball high. Wow. They not even. Wow. All right. Whatever, man. I'm pretty sure that's uh, two strikeouts. Mess for you, like two or three. All right. Ooh, got him with the hook. Caught him looking. Two outs, man, on first base. Max Freed is dealing. 43 pitches in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Love to see it. All right, remember, as of the bat. All right, here's one in the pitch. Woo, got him. Got him. He tried to drop, check, swing. It didn't matter. He's smiling like, ooh, that's filthy. Filth, form, filth. You couldn't do nothing with it. Swing through it. It's sitting there on a plate. What? Strike. Oh, ball fouled off. All right, that's a good point. Maybe some of these guys, they've been try trying out in the bullpen. Bullpen ain't been looking too hot in, uh, in spring training. So some of these guys may get shuffled around. It belts the option at first base. That's fine, but uh, yeah, I guess as a pinch hitter, utility guy, I guess, but yeah. Right now, man. Oh, and that's golf. Oh, man, that's horrible. Oh, Ronald with a great catch. I thought it was going to bloop in. Damn, first base line and Ronald with an excellent defensive play. MVPs in the chat, please. Wow, with the shoestring catch. All right. Well, that's cool. We all know how Snick goes, so we can have a talent on the... But we can have that talent on the bench. But we need somebody who could definitely play multiple positions. If he can play, like, first base and I don't know what else he can play, but he played first and third, I guess. I guess that will be good. So he can back and forth if you want to get... Give people a rest or something. But, again, 
I don't even like when Snit is resting um Sean Murphy so much, to be honest. I feel like that Sean Nur Murphy can never get into a role into like a groove because he was always getting switched out by Travis Arno. Now, catchers, I understand, I respect that call because catchers get the most wear and tear out of anybody on the baseball field outside of pitcher arm with their knees and the constant up and down and jumping and up and then down, you know what I'm saying? So, and their knees get worn out. So, for me, I understand that strategy with catchers, but I also understand that baseball is a momentum in a field type of game. And unless that bats you have, the more likely you're going to get into a, uh, a hitting slump. So as long as this guy is like emergency, I don't want, I don't want him even thinking about splitting time with Matt Olson at all. So that wouldn't happen. If we had Freddie Freeman. So that's just how I'm looking at. If we got a player that's good enough to uh, actually be a great replacement and Matt Olsen goes down, then maybe he need to be trade bait to go get us a guaranteed arm. Why is Snail and Montgomery still out there on free agency? Do they have Scotty Boris as their agent? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because that could be a big thing. They have Scott Boris for agent. But it's a shame those guys are not being picked up yet. I don't think the Braves can pick up any one of those guys and sell Freed on stand. I think they should be trying to get Freed, to be honest. Freed and get Snail. Now, that'll be a dominating rotation right there. Here's the one in the pitch. Ball. Oh, that was – no way, man. That was outside. All right, Gilmore standing there looking at one. Two and one account. They gave him that one. They gave him that one. Three zip, the Braves leading top half of the fifth inning. Here's one in the pitch. Gilmore with a check swing, fouled it off. All right, two and two to count. That was a little, excuse me. Uh, Boris is Snell. Yeah, we'll never get, uh, the Braves won't deal with Boris. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball chopped up the first base. Oh, and he booted it. Let's go. Are they going to call that an error? I don't know, man. That was inside. I mean, that was a hard, hard play for the first baseman. But I think they're going to score, score the error, to be honest. All right, let's go. Glamore? Uh, or is it Gl Gilmore? Is it Gilmore or Glamore? I'm not sure. Ooh, a little side on action. Slide right up in there. Strike one. Here's the one on the pitch. Ooh, on the inside corner. Strike two. All right, quickly, 0-2 is the count. All right, we got a man on first base. No outs. Don't chop into a double play. Do not chop, chop into a, a double play. All right, here's one in the pitch. Swing and a miss. One, two, three. Goodbye. Sit down. Jason Adams uh, with the pitch. Wow. It's a Kelly, though. Oh, no. Uh, Jason Adams is talking. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Kelly is pitching. That was a one, two, three pitch right there. Wow, kind of quickly out. Ogans. Up out of there. Yeah, we'll never get on Snail. And it's becoming a part that is also it's a lot of teams that don't want to even want to mess with Scott Boris. They look and see who the agent is, they're like, oh yeah, we have no chance to negotiate with this dude at all. We're not even gonna waste their time. That's just how the Braves operate. Up oh, and he hit him. Travis Dart no. Got hit on the arm. Take a base. All right, we got two men on. Let's go. Yeah, that's just how the Braves operate. Some agents we just will not even negotiate with. 
Because they're not gonna they're not gonna conform to the Braves' way. Do I believe in that method? No, but it's working. So I'm not any I'm not in any position to question Alex Anthopoulos' uh, philosophy at all. Uh, Snell already turned down $165 million from the Yankees. How many years? Because I would think that would be fair for Free. If Free won $200 million, man, oh, man, I really don't want to lose Free, but gosh dang it, man. If, if the Yankees offered that and Snell just won the Cy Young, even off an of injury, Snell won the Cy Young and they offered him that. If Max Free won two hundred million, I uh, oh man, that's tough. Swing and a miss, dang it, man! Come on, guys, come on, Fletcher. We got two men on, man on first base, man on second base, two and two to count with one out. And twenty, look, that's not bad. That's that's not bad for Snail. Here's one the pitch, swing, ball hit right there, one. No, he didn't get him. Safe. Let's go. Way to be set out by Fletcher. Love to see it. Way to hustle down the line by Fletcher. All right, they got one. They try to turn the double play, but we squeeze it out. We got men on the corners right now with two outs. Let's go, man. Way to leg that out by Fletcher. Infield hit. Well, fielder's choice since they got the first guy. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad deal, to be honest. Like, see, that's a legit. Like, if the Braves offered, uh, if the Braves offered Max Freed that and he turned it down, I'd be kind of sad. But that is, that's about right, to be honest. Six years, $27 million per, that's about right for Max Freed. I mean, Max Freed could command 30 to $35 million on the open market, but I mean that's fair to stay with the team to for a winning culture. That's fair, man. You'll be making the most money on this team. Now, of course, Ronald and Ronald needs to make at least thirty-five per year. He needs to. He's by far the best player in the league outside of when Ichiro, excuse me, not Ichiro, but uh, Otani is pitching and hitting. Once Otani is pitching and hitting, he's by far the best player in the universe, not just in baseball. In the universe. He's the best pro athlete in the universe when he's pitching and hitting. Here's one the pitch. Ball fouled off by Forrest Wall. Who uh ground out and struck out. He's over for today, over for two. All right, but he got an opportunity to bring in at least one with a single. Two with a double. Forrest Wall standing in. They're gonna pepper him inside. Here's the wind the pitch. Inside, jammed him up. Yep, that's his kryptonite. Plug boy Johnny, you think they're... I have no idea, man. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Jammed him low. Foul ball. One and two is the count. Here's the one in the pitch. Ball outside. Good eye. Two and two to count. Blood boy, what are you talking about? They'll get him under nine. What do you mean? Uh, 42 said hi. What's up, man? How you doing? Appreciate you coming through. Excellent day, man. Beautiful day to watch baseball. Ball fouled off by Forrest. All right, he battling right now. Two and two to count. Oh, the total score under nine. Where's the top half of the fifth? It's only uh three to zip. That's a strong possibility. It's three to zip. Tampa Bay look like they're getting shut out right now. All right, here's one of the pitch. Ooh, high fastball. Good eye. All right, full count. Three and two. Runners will be running on pitch. It's two outs. 
three and two to count. Runs will be going on the delivery. All right, here's one in the pitch. Forrest got jam. Foul ball. Great battle by Forrest. Great, good battle, man. Three and two to count. Three balls, two strikes. Two outs, two men on. Runners on the corners. Guys are running on contact. Nah, not even on contact. They're running as soon as the ball release. That's two outs. It don't matter. They can't get double up. Up oh, ball hit down the line. Ah, man. Good defense by the shortstop. Almost threw an air and throw, but great recovery by the uh, first baseman. That's out number three. All right, Forrest Wall is 0 for 3 for the evening. All right, we're going to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Braves on top three to zip over the Tampa Bay Rays. Both teams are under 500 during the um, spring training. I don't concern myself with records in spring training. All I look for is performances out of players that I'm looking to be in our starting lineup. So that's pitchers and our starting um, rotation guys for uh, pitching, our setup men, and our closers. You know what I'm saying? Like those things. Like the pitching is more important than anything. Situational pitching. And if I bats, you know what I'm saying, tend to warm up. For the main guys. And look for like a um a guy too that surprises you that could possibly be on the bench and get a roster spot because how well they played in the uh, spring training. But again, you starting off the season with a full healthy roster. Hopefully RC is okay. Uh but yeah, if we start with a healthy roster, we need not worry about the bench players. You see, at least the scoring wise, you know, positional wise. Now, for these um, guys that's supposed to be like relievers and stuff like that, then yeah, we gotta gotta think about that. But yeah, I can't wait till the regular season to start. Cannot wait. I hope you guys join us for these hundred and at least fifty games we did last season. <laughs> we did hundred and fifty something, like hundred and fifty five. We might have missed seven games the whole season. And several of those were just because uh, we were doing the NBA playoffs. So we wanted to do, you know, finish up playoff series that we actually started with. But after the playoffs were done, we didn't miss any game. Might have missed one or two games after that. All right, good pitch by Free. Free quickly um, got a man down 0-2, and, and he takes a quick timeout. Max Freed out there dealing. Mad Max. Yeah, there was no way we're going to play $42 million per year for a salary, ever. We're, we were never going to do that. I saw Braves fans on several different um, social media outlets saying, oh, yeah, we should go get Wheeler. You know, a, a Wheeler, if he uh, doesn't resign, we should go after him next season. That was never going to happen. Actually, um, Nola took less money than what we were going to offer him. I think that's why Ronald was asking for a new contract because he was going to get $30 million per year. Uh, Nola. We offered more money. All right, swing and miss, foul ball, two and two to count. Paredes is up the bat right now. I think Wheeler are making more money than Nola, which is crazy. Per year. But Nola got a longer contract, I think. All right, here's the one on the pitch. Ball fouled off. He cannot see that slider right now. That slider's killing him. That slider curveball action is killing him. Killing him. Max Freed up to 52 pitches. Bottom half of the fifth inning. No outs. Very efficient by Max Freed. Spraying them, laying them. All right, here's one on the pitch. Ball inside. Caught it looking. Go sit down. Three chairs in the chat, please. Oh, 
后的。Ball hit down the line. Great catch. Throw it across. Got him out on the one hop. One pitch, one out. Another out. Two outs. Max Freed out here dealing. Max Freed out here dealing like Texas Dolly. All rest in peace. The Texas Dolly just passed away last year. If you know poker, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. MLB.com. Alright. Let's see if they got it up. Here's one the pitch. I don't want the live game. Ball hit right into first base line. Dang it. All right. Ronald got it. All right. Two out single. There's a two out single. Womp womp. Whatever. All right, Max Free with a pickoff move. Did he get him? No. Max Free, one of the best pickoff moves in the league. Left hand pitcher. Very hard to decipher when he's throwing to the plate or when he's throwing over the first base. Yeah, three strikeouts. I was right. Three strikeouts by Max Free. He is being tripping right now. All right, on one account, man on first base. Let's deal, Max. Here's one of the pitch, ball way outside. Matthew, I don't think Ronald Cunha Jr. is going to stand. I think this is the only year Ronald Cunha is going to stand for not being extended. Ronald Cunha will be a holdout next year if they don't. Ronald Cunha Jr. is making $17 million a year. That is highway robbery. Now, of course, he signed the initial deal because it was almost $100 million. And you're a poor kid come from Venezuela. You are not going to turn down $95 million. You're not. You bet on yourself, that's fine. But he was already worth that as soon as he, just potential alone, he was worth that. Ronald Cunha Jr. made $15 million last year. He shouldn't have signed it. Ball right up the middle. Got him. That's out. Great defense. Let's go. Love to see it. Great defense by Fletcher knocking that down. All right. But, yeah, Ronald Cunha Jr. is so grossly underpaid, it's not even funny. Yeah, it doesn't behoove the Braves to do anything. You sign the contract, you got to live with it. You're a grown man. I will say that Ronald Cunha Jr. has the worst agent in the history of agents. No, my bad. Ozzie Albies has the worst agent in the history of agents. He signed an eight-year deal. For $37 million. He said, look, man, we love it because it's our players and we get to keep them for a long time. But guys, don't get it twisted, guys. In any other organization, that wouldn't fly. That would not fly. So shout out to Alex Anthopoulos for the Jedi mind tricks he done put on all these players. Teaching the Braves way and the Braves mentality and, the, and you know, hey, as long as players buy into it, that's fine. But you're not going to get other, we got, and that's why we got to draft our guys. Matt Olson was a guy that came from a horrible organization, so he appreciate being with the Braves and taking a cheaper deal, you know what I'm saying, just to stay within a winning organization. 
He knows the doldrums of being on a horrible organization and playing 162 and knowing that you have zero chance to make in the playoffs or even be close in the division. You're just earning a check and being sorry. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what Alice Anthopoulos looks for. He looks for guys with with talent and preach that Braves way. Austin Riley is worth $35 million per year. So is Ronald. Ronald is worth $45 million per year. He'll never get it here as a, as a brag. He won't. He won't. But that's not the Braves way. Bryce Harper is asked for extension, but he, yeah, he just got a new deal. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Baseball trying to get greedy, man. Dude, you just signed a, a max deal. Like, not a max deal, but because there's no, there's technically no uh, salary cap. All right, on one's account. Good pitch. It's one pitch. Ball in the dirt. Good eye. Uh, White is up. He's one for two for today. Yeah, Adam Duvall is back. Welcome back, Adam Duvall. We need you. Yeah, it's not really funny, man. That's not funny. That's not funny, man. For a player of his skill, he needs to be making at least $25 million on defense alone. That's why I tell people, like, I find it funny when Braves fan got mad at Freddie. When the Braves moved on from Matt Olsen and signed Matt Olsen before Freddie Freeman ever signed a contract. That's why he was so hurt. All right, ball fouled off of the um, leg of, of White. Alex Anthopoulos said, last offer, because I got this offer with Oakland. I can't turn up. Turn down. Going once, going twice. So, come on, Matt Olsen. He said so as Matt Olsen was coming into the building. Like, stop, man. So, yeah, I'm glad that we got Matt Olsen now. I'm rocking with Matt Olsen. He's a part of the Braves. But you can't tell me that Alex Anthopoulos didn't just dip out on Freddie. He did. He said, I'm going for the younger option. That's what Alex Anthopoulos does. You know? And it worked. So how can I argue with it? Here's one of the pitch. Yep, and Walt, good job by White. Man, I got to find my walk it out. I must have erased it. I had to erase it, man. But what is this? Oh, there it is. Walk it out in chat. All right, walk it out in the chat, please. Swing in a miss. I can't get a walk it out in the chat? What's going on? Where my walk it out emojis at, man? Swing in a miss. All right, quickly in the hole. Williams biting on those sliders right there. All right, it wasn't Freddy Fall, it was his agent. AA made the offer to Freddie agent, but the agent didn't tell Freddie his last offer. Yeah, I know that. But again, if you really want to keep a player, and it, oh, ball popped up. He's going back, back to the wall. Warning trap power. All right, would that advance the runner? No, it won't advance the runner. Uh, if you really wanted Freddie, that one extra year shouldn't have been the deal breaker. Because the Braves, Freddie settled for less money. He settled for less money. The one year is what they didn't want. The one more year, the one extra year is what Alex Anthopoulos would not get off of. It wasn't the money he paid. He would have paid the money that he got from the um, Dodgers. It's the one extra year he did not want to pay it. Appreciate those walking out, Matthew. I don't agree with that. Swing in the miss, ball in the dirt. One and one is a count. Went to your knees. Uh, I don't agree with that. I don't root for Freddie now because he's the Dodger. I can't stand it. Sick as me to my stomach to see him in Dodger blue. But yeah, that hurt, man. That hurt seeing Freddie 
Freddie Lee, bro. It is. I is one the pitch. But again, I always root for the name on the front, not on the back. But it did hurt seeing Freddie in that nasty Dodger blue. All right, two and one to count. Here's a one in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two to count. I would hate to see Ronald Cunha Jr. share the same fate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, his agent did offer that. Yeah, he never saw it. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That's my whole thing, man. The Braves need to go ahead and, and lock Freed up, in my opinion. Here's one in the pitch. Ball throw the first base, got him. Yeah, he got him. Out. Great throw by the pitcher. I mean by the catcher. Great throw. Out number two. You out. Go sit down. Great defensive play by the catcher. Caught him slipping. Yep. Gunned him out. He was done. Toast. Toasted. Mm-mm. Got to be quicker than that. Oh, got to be quicker than that. Yeah, it actually was the agent fault. That's why that agent. Now, he didn't. And strike three. That's out of there. All right. Braves go down. Top half of the six with nothing. But the Braves are leading three to zip. Love to see it. That's what I'm saying, man. I just think Max Fried is gone. We got to win the championship this season, guys. We literally have to win the championship this season. If we don't get a quality number two. But right now, Max Fried is a 1-8. He's not a number two. After this season, we're going to have to get a number two. We know Strider's the number one. We know this. We know this 100%. We need us a reliable number two. 100%. 100%. But, man, thank all you guys coming through. My name is Larry. One half of the Dixon Way. My beautiful wife, Sean, is the other half. We provide you guys with live commentary on all our favorite sports scenes. For the Braves, the Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, even my wife, Gators. Uh, right now, we got spring training action as the Braves are facing off against the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Spencer Strider, I mean, excuse me, not Spencer Strider, but Max Freed dominating. I feel like uh, Max Freed and Spencer Strider are going to be in the running for Cy Young this season. I just have that feeling. Max Freed betting on himself. He's going to have a... Uh, a Cy Young candidacy uh, season, he's going to go in the open market and get about 35 to $40 million per year. And no way the Braves are going to be able to play that. The Braves need to sign that man. Like the offer of what Snead got, that's what the Braves need to do. 27.6, $28 million per year. That is a fair price. For Max Freed. There's a fair price for Max Freed. Then concentrate on getting that last third guy. Because after this year, guys, no more Uncle Charlie. He's going to retire. Then we got to hope that, that Chris Sale could be Uncle, Uncle Chris. Uncle C. As I'm going to call him on the stream. Uncle C. All right, Max Free back up the bat. I mean, back up the pitch, excuse me. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball inside, jammed up, but blooped in. Good hit. Inside out hit by Pinto. And Pinto just um, threw out uh, White. <coughs> As a catch, a good inside out swing. Good inside out swing by Pinto. All right, Nathaniel Brooks said, I hate uh, we got rid of Von Grissom, even though I understand why. Yeah, we need Chris Sale. Also, Von Grissom might not start uh, in season opener. I saw that also. Like he got an injury. I don't know what, but he might not sign. Hey, he's the one that signed that deal, bro. Five years old, he signed that deal. Whatever, don't try to re-up now. Yeah, it's the largest in history. Now he wants to re-up. Nah, yeah, he needs to live with that. That's different than Ronald Cunha Jr., who's fresh out of Venezuela. Him and uh, Ozzy Albies 
sign no super ridiculous team-friendly deals. You know, that's totally different. You sign a deal like that, man, that's a deal that puts it in your career, bro. Don't look around five years and be like, oh, these guys get... You help set the market. It's just like Julio Jones asked for more money after two years. I was really... That's why I started losing respect for Julio. Even though, you know what I'm saying, I want these players to get their money, you, you, it's bad business to do that, man. Bad faith. You get your deal, you get your deal, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, here's one pitch. And you're out playing it. And really, Julio Jones did that so he can get traded. But it backfired and he actually got the money that he wanted. He actually wanted to be traded then. He didn't really want the money. But he wasn't going to not, not take the money. That's free. Chop, jammed him up. Oh, my goodness. It was a double play action. And our guy booted in. And now that became a double look like. No, no, it's a single. But the runner advances to third base. Second baseman booted over into um right behind the shortstop. And they were just running and running and running. Wow, bad defense. Well, you won't have to worry about that in the regular season because we got an excellent infield uh, defense. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to get in front of it and body it. You should just backhand that, Lopez. That's your fault, bro. One, one on the defense. All right, it's one the pitch. Ball low. Good pitch by Free right at the knees. Love to see it. All right, three to one right now. Nobody out with runners on the corners. All right, this is Tampa Bay um, chance to score bottom half of the sixth inning. All right, low up. All right, here's one the pitch. Ball. Ooh, rocketed out there in the uh, foul ball, though. Strike out and a fly out by low. Come on. We need a double play right here. But no, nah, a double play scores a man, so. No, nah, I read a pop up first right now. Infield pop up, please. Infield pop up. Ooh, ball on outside. Oh, that was a strike. Hey, new short alert. Guys, make sure you go ahead, click on that link right there. The beautiful Shonda has blessed us with another fire short. Y'all make sure y'all click on that short. Hit the like button and leave a comment, please. Thank you. Leave a comment. Be like, fire short. And thank you, Shonda, for the quick turnaround on the shorts. And she's at work, too. So, guys, definitely appreciate those shorts that Shonda give us. Yep, yep. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ooh, ball rocking in the center field. And that's going to drop. That scores a man. All right. Runners at second and third. And Pinto started it all with an infield hit. And then hustling down the line as a catcher when the Aaron throw was, should have been a double play. And that's not really on Max Freed. That's an unearned run in my opinion. All right, it's three to one right now. Max getting that upset look. Ali, and it can really go by quickly, man, if stuff like that happen. But we'll have Ozzy and Orlando Arcia in the middle of our lineup then. So we won't have, really have to worry about those, you know, defensive gaps like that. That's one of the better infield combinations in the entirety of uh, Major League Baseball. All right, Matt Freed upset, talking with Travis Darno, trying to calm down. As a catcher, that's what you want to do. Yeah, guys, make sure you uh, click on that link and uh, support the short that Shonda just brought out. Love to see it. Let me know how you guys like it. Because obviously, I don't even get to look at it yet because I'm doing the stream. I think it's that slow solo shot. I think it's that solo shot. I ain't sure. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball on outside corner. Strike. Let's go, Max Freed. Here's one in the pitch. Ball chopped away. 
Orizaria is up the bat. Very dangerous hitter. One of the most dangerous hitters in all of baseball. And let me refresh this because this thing is stuck. Pinto Ben, uh, that's three batters ago. All right, and the guy's going down, hitting, run. Please catch that, Travis. Oh, yeah, catch. Let's go. All right, runners do not advance. Pop up. We needed that. Now let's get a double play, please. Let's go. Great job by Max Reed inducing that pop-up. Love to see it. All right, Max, let's get a ground ball, get this double play, get up out of here. All right, Ramirez coming up. All right, here's one pitch on the hook. Foul down on the um, third base line. Foul ball. Yes, Matthew, we're going to lose a pick. Kirk Cousins said that he was talking to the uh, Falcons chaplain and the trainers that he's on the way down. He cannot, he's not legally supposed to talk to them. That's tampering. Plain and simple. He told on himself. It is what it is. Hopefully, we only lose a fourth rounder. Swing and a miss. Great hook. Oh, and two to count quickly to count. Let's go, man. Let's go, Mad Max. Up to 79 pitches in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Uh, starting to get a little bit more um, loose on his pitches, but come on, man. Let's spread this out. Come on, dance through the raindrops. Dance through the raindrops, Mad Max. Here's one of the pitch. Swing on the outside corner. Protect the plate. 0 oh, 2 to count. Let's go, Mad Max. Come on. All right, Mad Max looking. Nine on the um, pitch count. Here's the one of the pitch. Ball chopped off. Go to third base right through the line. Wow, what piece of hitting. Going to home base. Uh, he, why did you cut that off? Why would you cut that off? And then he threw it. Oh, my goodness. Then he threw it out. In the, it's tied up, man. We cut it off. Then the cutoff man threw it out into the audience. One, one for the defense right there. None of these guys will be. Sorry, man. Isaac Albies will be in there. And none of these horrible decisions will be made. What a great throw in. in And the cutoff man cut it off. Threw it over there. And the ball bounced into the. Um, oh, my goodness, man. That's a horrible play. That man was gunned out, too. What a great throw by the right fielder. And what a horrible cutoff. And throw by the cutoff man. By the first baseman. Womp Womp's in the chat, please. Womp Womp. It's 3-3 three three right now. Let's get Mad Max out of there, man. He don't need no negative energy like this. Ooh, inside corner. Oh, that was a strike, but they ain't call it. All right, 1-0 and is the count. It won't be our first round of Matthew. I think somebody else did that, and they got fined like the third round. So it won't be our first round. Oh, and that's a home run right there. No, it's a pop-up. All right, we got it. But it's going to advance a runner. All right. Run advance. And now we're losing. Horrible. Uh, and we're losing because of our defense. We've had two costly errors in this inning. And that's probably the end of Max Reed day. I don't want Max Reed out there laboring anymore. It's the bottom half of the six. He's pitching up to be a shutout. But the defense behind him is a... Minor league defense now. All right. Strike one on the um, batter was not in the box before, uh, what, eight seconds? All right. Here's one of the pitch. Curveball, strike two. Yep. One, one. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball jammed up. Fastball right down the middle. Foul ball. Watch out, fans. All right, freed up the uh, 87 pitches. Very unfortunate, man. Free could have been out this inning several times. 
several times. All right, here's one of the pitch. Swing it and miss. Got him with the hook. Get up out of here, man. Go sit down. Four strikeout by uh, Max Reed. Unfortunately, he's losing the game right now. Four to three. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays with a huge rally led by uh, Braves Blunders. <laughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. All right, guys, we're going to the top half of the seven innings. Appreciate y'all coming through. Thank you guys for coming through. Hope you guys enjoying the commentary and the content. Uh, my name is Larry. One half of the Dixon Way. Uh, my beautiful wife, Shonda's other half. Uh, we try to provide you guys with entertaining and informative commentary throughout all our favorite sports teams. That's the Braves, the Hawks, the Falcons, the Bulldogs, even my wife, Gators. Guys, we're streaming across five different platforms. Um, that is YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, Rumble, and X or Twitter, whichever one you want to call it. We appreciate every last one of you guys. We're trying to grow this one follower and subscriber at a time. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Ding, ding. Get all our latest videos, man. And you can come for the commentary, but please stay for the vibe. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. Yeah. Yes, sir. A pass rush. Actually, I want us to move back. I want us to move back to around 12 or 13. Get the pass rush we want stacked. Because at the very least, if we lose a third rounder, if we get a second, I mean a first and a second, or a first and a third, for moving back, well, really a first and a second, for letting the team jump up four more spots, then yeah, that's what we need to do. Get the extra pick. Get that pick away, depending on if our pick is better or their pick is better, and then move on. That way we still got eight draft Because we got eight draft picks in this draft. We got two second rounders due to the uh, Count really deal. So we got two third rounders in there. So we can get another second rounder. We get a first and a second. A first, a second, and a fourth. We're letting them move up like that. Because uh, Minnesota and the Raiders need a quarterback. So if McCarthy is there, we could be a trade partner with those guys. Get in the bidding war between those two teams and take the best offer. That's how I look at it. And in most mock drafts that I see, um, Verse or Dallas Clark are there at 12 and 13. So If not, pick that cornerback um, out of Toledo, Quinn Williams, pick him. Yeah. And then pick uh, Tavante Sweat out of Texas as your big, big hoss in the middle. Or if, uh, ooh, got a strikeout. Yeah, he started walking away. He knew that was a strikeout. Record. Good pitch by record. All right, top half of the seventh inning. Tampa Bay Rays with an explosion in the uh, bottom half of the sixth inning. And that was definitely not a strike, but it is what it is. These umpires trying to get out there. Hot Florida sun. <laughs> 84 and human. I see the bugs flying around. Balls dribble up there. Uh, one and always a count. What's up, Paulie? How you doing? Probably get Russell Wilson for a happy meal. Russell Wilson is um, a quarterback for the Steelers, man. He's not available. Swing in the miss by Lopez. Lopez is the one that booted that ball. Uh, yeah, a lot of people like Mel Kiefer predict that the Falcons are going to get the best pass rusher in the NFL draft. I think his name turned Dallas Turner. 
Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to have that stand-up guy move all around, then yes, you get Dallas Turner, a.k.a. a Diet Cola version of Micah Parsons or uh, Anderson, Anderson Jr., who's over with the Texans. If you want a traditional guy, you go with Gary Burst or uh, Tallulah from um, UCLA, who technically sound, but mm, I don't trust that. I mean, he's a good talent, but I think he'll be around at 15 to 20. So, I like the guy out of um, Missouri also, Robinson. He's a dog. All right, one and two is count. Swing, little chopper. He's out at third base. Yeah, pop up. Bloop, bloop. All right, two outs. Quickly, two outs. About to see on um, taking out the ball game soon. All right, two outs. Record pitching good. Only 11 pitches got two outs. All right, here's one of the pitch. Ooh, ball right down the middle. Good pitch by record. Goodness. All right, we just got our kids in there right now. Uh, Ogans up there. 0-1 oh, is the count. Here's one of the pitch. Ball fouled off. 0-2 oh, quickly in the hole. All right, so Ogans uh, played in single A last season. Batted 265 with nine home runs and 67. RBIs. Yeah, he's the baby. Oh, where I thought. One and two. Good eye. Let's go. One and two is a count. There's one the pitch. Curveball on the outside corner. Ball. They thought that was a strike. They walking out disrespecting the blue. Yes, sir. I'll take that. Good eye, blue. Two and two to count. See, the problem is you don't call that before. Oh, that's definitely out. That's definitely not a strike. Nah, that was way outside, bro. I was almost on the arm chalk on the outside. Swing in the miss. High fastball. Record with some good strikeouts. Wow. That dude was dealing. He might be a keeper for the race, for the sun race. All right, guys. And that's the end of the uh, top half of the seven inning. So we in the seven inning stretch. And you already know what we're going to do. And a one, and a two, and a three. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever come back. Cause this root, root, root for the Braves. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes. They're out in the old ball game. Play ball. Appreciate you, babe. I think you put too many emojis in there and it's not showing on the on the Western I don't know why it froze up. Yeah, I don't see Paulie's um chat either. Hold up. Uh, I know why. It's that's me. Let me scroll down a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, I do not want Brock Bowers. No. 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 Uh uh. No more tight ends in in the top ten. Not at all. Appreciate those musical notes, babe. No, I didn't jam. I just was stuck up there. That's all. Play ball. Let's go, Braves. Appreciate that, Paulie. Appreciate all you guys coming through. All right, let's go, man. As we get out of seven in the stretch, uh, Braves are down by one run, caused by horrible defense by our Triple uh, A. Affiliate guys. None of our starters was in, to be honest. You know, I think Travis Darno is the only one still out there because he's catching. Who he normally catches is uh, Max Freed. Yep, and here come a new pitcher, Loke. 
I guess. Yeah. He's all Hey, I like that action coming off his arm right there. Let's go, Luch. Alright, on one account. No balls, one strike. Is the wind the pitch? Swing and a miss. Got him with a nasty slider. Palacio up the bat. He in seven for the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, here's the wind the pitch. All right, try to throw that same slider. He wasn't biting at it that time. All right, one and two is the count. Now the Braves trying to hold him here and make a comeback with their young guys. I just want to see how our relievers come in. Let's have good performances. Wind the pitch. Swing inside. Oh, way to knock it down. Can he throw it to first base? Did he tag him? No, way to run it out. Good run out by uh who is who the guy name again? Oh my bad, hold up. Uh Liberato. Wow. Way to run that out. Wow, our um uh, our first baseman blocked it with his body. He didn't even get on his hand. All right, he knocked it down with his hand and he knocked it to his body. Picked it up, was not quick enough to recover it. Yeah, these guys are definitely not gonna be in the starting lineup. No time soon. Thank goodness we got a gold glove over there with uh, Matt Olsen also. So, yeah, we replaced Freddie with Matt Olsen. That's, a, that's you know, a great transition. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball fouled off. Quickly, 0-2 is the count. Let's, hold, let's get a hold of this guy. Hopefully, kiss into a double play. What's up, Gibby? What up, cuz? I see you. Hey, that's why we had these games to see. And that's that uh PJ's coming through, fam. That's why we got these games spring training to work out the kinks, man. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball way outside. All right, one and two. Don't let go of him. We got him on the hook. Don't let him off the hook, please. One two is a count. One man on first base. Let's induce this double play, please. Come on, kid. Go get a double play. All right, here's one on the pitch. He's left-handed, too. Ooh, that looked good. Hmm. Let him just miss on the outside corner. Two and two to count. All right, here's one on the pitch. Way outside. Yeah, that definitely. No stress-free innings. And, man... <laughs> Blowout games close, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, that wasn't even the bullpen fault. It was the, you know, the subpar defense we had behind Max Freed. They gave up this lead. Max Freed definitely pitched the shit out work for um game. Ball inside, just walked him. All right, two on with no outs. That's not a good look. Come on, Luge. Work it out, kid. Work it out. And we know Waldrop's got sent down back to AAA. Uh, Smith Shaver got sent down. Yeah. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ooh, strike across the outside corner. Good pitch right there. Let's get two more of those, please. Zach Luge in 27 games with a 3-10 record, 6.58 ERA with a 1.74 whip. All right, here's one in the pitch. Swing, fouled off. All right, quickly. Uh, one and one is a count. Yeah, I think that's why they signed Alan Duvall. But Forrest, I think Forrest needed to get the chance. Obviously, you know Snit is going to play Alan Duvall over Kelnick. But, yeah, they quickly saw that Kelnick is struggling, bro. Struggling. Oh, that's a strike. That's the first, that's the same pitch he got the strike called on. Come on, man. One or two is the count. That was bogus right there. I have no idea, Gibby. No, I I don't know if we're gonna hit that many this season, man. Oh, ball popped up. Center field. Is this gonna this gonna advance man to third base? Yep, it did. All right, good productive out right there with the pop-up. That moved the man over by Brantley. All 
Yeah, Kelnick right now, man. Jared Kel I mean, uh, yeah, Kelnick looks lost out there, man. Now you can't try him out in the starting lineup. It's gonna be sports or the ball. And with it being snit, it's gonna be the ball. It's gonna be Adam the ball. That's the reason why you went and got him. And I think that uh Alex Anthopoulos is already regretting not getting um it was already your back. We'll see a lot of Eddie. He's going to be on the Washington Nationals this season. Here's one of the pitch. Ball popped up. Hmm. One and one is the count. Got runners on the corner. Need a double play right here, please. Here's the one of the pitch. Ball rocketed to uh third base side. If it's fair, it's five. It's gone. Yeah, it's and my bad. It's way gone. It almost hit somebody. It did hit somebody on the walkway. What a colossal home run! Three run home run, and just like that, it's seven to three. Uh oh. Well, somebody lost on that. Womp womp. Man, he teed that right up. That was a tee ball shot right there. Threw it straight down the middle. With no kind of action, and he rocked that ball out there to the walkway. Almost hit a car. Goodness gracious. He put a charge into that. Yeah, that definitely was gone. That young man just put his head down. And you know you really hitting it with power when the wind is really blowing from left field to right field. And that ball went straight right field. So he hit that thing with mammoth power. Gibby, Gibby talking about the team is cooked. Gibby, it's the preseason, man. It's spring training. You know that this kid right here with a 6.58 ERA in AAA will never be on the main squad. It's like, Gibby, come on, man. You know this kid is going right back to the stripers. You know that. So why are you stressing? Is YouTube TV any good? Uh, mm -hmm. All right, three and oh. I mean, we got all kind of stuff. We got all kind of stuff, man. I mean, whichever one you prefer. Some people swear on it. Some people don't like it. I don't know. Some people like getting the individual app. Some people, let's get the ballots out. This depends on what you like to watch, man. You think Dylan Dye is going to be up here? He could be. I don't know. You know Snick got his guys. So, I mean, I, I hear you on that. But that guy right there ain't, ain't being nobody guy. All right. Center field, he's out. I'm glad you ain't drop it. All right, that's two outs. Base is clear with a three-run shot, a mammoth shot. Looks like the Braves about to lose this game unless we have a fierce comeback. Dylan Dud. I don't know who you're talking about then, man. You make so many nicknames for people. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about Dylan Dodd. Dylan Dudd, if he got an ERA of eight, he never should see uh, the big team. He needs to stay down there. He might need to go down a single leg. Might not need to be with the Stripers, to be honest. All right, one and one is a count. What's that? What do you want me to change it to? Hold on. All right, one and two is the count. Yeah, you and your nicknames, man. I can't keep up, bro. You need to say the right name at first.
like this. Somebody got struck out. Love to see that. All right. That's the end of the seventh inning, guys. And it's three to seven. Tampa Bay on top with a horrendous uh, sixth inning by the Braves. And, you know, uh, so back-to-back -back innings, we done gave up three and four runs. So I hate to see that. Hey, Gibby, I don't know who you're talking about, man. You got to say the real name first so I can understand who you're talking about. Uh, Magic said, oh, I think Flood Boy Johnny just lost. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he did say that. What's up, Joe Bond? How you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream. It's time for you. Appreciate you coming through. This isn't, first of all, Gibby, first of all, Gibby, this is a split, they're having split squad scrimmages right now. So only, I don't even think half of the starters played on this team. Like the regulars was Duval, Ronald, and, uh, and Austin Riley. That was it. Those are only starters that played on this team today. No Money Mike, no Matt Olsen, you know what I'm saying? No Ozzy Albies, no Arcia. I mean, it, it, to say it was an overreaction is not even like, it's not even close to what happened, man. This was the purest, like, meaning of a spring training game. That we were in full control until our, you know, triple-A and our double-A and single-A guys start booting the ball all around. But Max Reed hadn't um, shut out stuff today. It wasn't no hitter stuff, but he had shut out stuff today. And the only reason why they scored, it was blooping and blundering away three runs. Ball hit right up the middle. Great hit. All right, that's the way to start it. You want to get a rally. That's the way to start it. But you guys, you guys know we don't do rally caps over here. We do unrally caps. If you want to get an unrally cap, and that's when we get the lead, we put the rally cap on. We don't put rally caps on over here. Uh, Matthew said, Gibby, Jared, uh, Schuster, and Braden Sh Shoemake uh, will both trade along with Soroka. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jan Schuster gone, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, and Mike Soroka is gone too, yeah, with Tricky Nicky. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you deciphered that, Matthew. I didn't know what he was talking about. He making up so many names, I, I can't follow. But, yeah, those guys are gone from my understanding. So no need to even complain about those guys. Philly fans said Spencer Strider was a postseason choker. And yet, yeah, he wasn't. We had no offense because Brian Snicker cooled down the hottest offense in Major League history by, by basically taking them out and giving them rest at the end of the season. He basically cooled them off himself. What Sean Murphy was struggling with by playing every two games and never getting in a groove, he did that for the entire team for the final two weeks of the season. That's not good managing. It's not. All right, this, this kid asks you look real young. All right, he ain't in the eighth inning. All right, here's a winding pitch. What's Jesus. up, son? Headphones. Uh, for, for what, son? No, no, phone is charging right now. Phone is charging. Go, go look at your TV, please. No. Okay? no. You don't want it? Okay, well, I don't know where your headphones, I don't know where your um, phone at is, son. Sit down right here and watch Daddy uh, commentate here. Okay? There you go. All right, here's one of the pitch. Three and two to count. Ball dribbling up. Larry, my phone is charging, son. My phone has to charge, son. Okay? It has to charge. All right? Keep us. It has to charge. Keep us. Headphones, I know, but it has to charge. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Told you the phone has to charge, all right? Thank you. 
He said Mike Soroka having a dominant spring. Uh, three starts. ERA is is two. And he's averaging 12 strikeouts per now. Oh, wow. Well, that'll be a great comeback for him, man. But, you know, Mike Soroka was up for a new deal. And with his injury history, they just wasn't willing to, to roll the dice with him no more. I hate it for him. I hope he finds his way. But, uh, I mean, Spence, what? I just don't know if he was ever. They gave him opportunity after opportunity. He got hurt. He just couldn't find it. It is what it is, man. Hopefully he makes it out with another team. All right, foul ball right there. We got a man on second base. Uh, one and two is the count. One out. Give me it. It's not a redemption. Positive redemption. He didn't have a bad season. He was second in, um, second or third in the Cy Young. You can't have a redemption year <laughs> if you was pretty much strikeout. Good pitch. On the outside corner. Good pitch by Askew. You can't have a redemption year if you didn't have a bad season. I mean, he was like one or two in the Cy Young race the entire season. Now, if you want to say the Atlanta Braves want to have redemption for the playoff run, I'll agree with you that on that 100%. It's not about the regular season anymore with this team. Ball way outside. One of those accounts. Uh, Soroka plays in a poo-poo division, too. Man, that's not matter, man. We just hope that, you know, if Mike Soroka can get back to his form, I wish him all the luck, man. I wish him all the luck. And maybe, just maybe him getting traded was the motivation to help him, you know, buckle down and get better. You know what I'm saying? That could be it. Look at Brandon Ingram. I don't think Brandon Ingram in basketball is the same guy if he don't get traded. It's the wind the pitch. Ball fouled out. Third baseman got it. Those are the first base. He's out. All right. No harm, no foul. We got a hit, but nothing come of it. We strand a man on second base. All right, seven to three. Going to the bottom half of the eighth inning. Uh, Soroka uh, made us lose the series in Oakland. Ah, uh, Gibby, come on, man. All right, look, man. Look. It just kind of ran its course here. Just kind of ran its course. Yeah, Strider led all the baseball in both wins and strikeout last year. You can't really have a redemption year after being, you know, most strikeouts, most wins. I I just can't believe in that. I won't believe in that. The problem is, like, the Atlanta, excuse me, the Atlanta Braves have never beaten the Phillies in the history of their organization in the playoffs. We never have. So that's not really a, a Strider thing or – that's just a Braves organization thing that we got to get over that hump. He never had near a four ERA because he kept getting lit up by the mess and the Tigers. Mm, I think that there were innings that we had bad innings and or unfortunate things. Like Strider's type of pitcher that gets annoyed and gets aggravated when uh, uh, when the defense fails him behind him. Then he tries to over pitch and grooves one. You know what I'm saying? So normally when when Strider have big innings, you notice something bad like a catch wasn't made or improper uh cutoff wasn't made. You know what I'm saying? Or something like something bad happens. Then Strider tried to overcompensate. Or someone to hit a garbage ball that was on the shoe tops and will line one into the corner. Like it'll be fluky. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, you are right. Wins were, is a team stat. I will agree with that, Gibby. Wins is a, definitely a team stat. But he was still by far our best pitcher that season. You know, by far. And then Max Fried in his limited time was our second best pitcher. Ball fouled off, chopped down the line. Foul ball, watch out. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness it didn't hit that little girl 
They were not watching. See, that's, see, here's my thing. If you go to a baseball game, watch the baseball game. Because that's how people, kids get hit. Because y'all ain't paying attention. You know the kids aren't going to fully pay attention unless they love the game of baseball. All right, strike three. Good pitch by Luge. He's still in the game. Up to 32 pitches, yeah. They're testing him out because they were probably wondering if he was going to put him on the roster. But he's not going to earn that. All right, so if you're a parent and you go in there with a child, you need to be paying attention. Either one or both parents need to actually be paying attention to the baseball game. Now, that's when foul balls injure people because you ain't paying attention and it smacks you right across the head or your child right across the head or your wife right across the head. So if you're going to go to a sporting event like baseball, please, please be watching out for the baseball. It's aggravating, bro. Aggravating. Ball on the outside corner, good pitch, right? Uh, yeah, he does, especially late in games when he walked guys and then give up home runs. Yeah, but he walk a guy and then a guy boosts a ball that's supposed to be a double play. Now you got two runners on. I seen a lot of that with Spencer Strider, man. A lot of that. Meanwhile, you know, and it was always like that, man. Like some pitchers always got a lot of runs and some don't. I'm sorry, man. We lose uh, three to two. Match three, get our three runs. I expect my offense who scores like six runs a game to score six runs a game. Seemed like they never wanted to do that with Spencer Strider, though. I'm just saying. Meanwhile, Bryce Elder collected a lot of wins because the offense was literally scoring like four runs in the first inning with him. Burying teams before they can even get a chance to get into the game. And once that stopped happening, Bryce Elder fell back down to earth. Here's one of the pitch ball in the dirt. Great save by the catcher. All right, two and two to count, two outs. No baseball gets old to me, but to each his own. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball high and tight. And since I don't watch Stripers games, because they're not on TV, I like seeing these young guys, seeing what's the next generation of players. But to be honest, all our best prospects, unless they're like surefire guys, need to be traded but guys who can actually help us now. We need to find a healthy mix. Because ain't nobody replacing Ronald. Ain't nobody replacing Ozzy. Ain't nobody replacing, like, really and truthfully, man, our scouting and all our pitching. I mean, we just need to be looking for our next uh, great pitcher. Ball rocking into third, uh, into left field. All right, that's a single. As Tampa Bay continues to hit. You say, I need Montgomery or Snell. We'll never get Snell because the Braves don't deal with Scott Boris, and that's his agent. Scott Boris is Snell's agent, so we'll never deal with him. He would never accept the Braves' way type of um, contract. If, if Blake Snell was advised to reject a six-year deal at 26, no, 27.5, uh, strike, good pitch. Uh, if he didn't accept a six-year deal at 27.5, I think from the Yankees, he'll never get that deal here with the Braves. So, um, yeah, it's not happening. It's winding the pitch. Popped up. And third baseman is underneath. He got his glove up, caught it, and they're out of there. All right, going to the top half of the ninth inning. Braves down by four runs. 
three to seven. Yeah, it just ain't gonna happen, Gibby. That's what's with that thing. And um, the only reason why Snell and Montgomery are not signed right now is because of their agents. Because there's a lot of teams that covered them. I'm sure the Braves do, but once they told them they want at least probably thirty million, Braves were out of that situation. They're not even willing to um, give Max Free that, and Max Free got uh, Cy Young stuff. So, mm -mm. if you over thirty, wait, well, if you over twenty seven and looking for a big deal for the Braves, you might not gonna get it. Especially you're almost thirty, you're not gonna get it. Not from the break, not from Alex Anthopoulos. No, nah, you're not going to get that. If he didn't re-sign Freddie, he definitely not going to re-sign a guy who ain't never played here before. Or sign a guy who ain't never played here. Uh, Matthew asks, Larry, do you think the Braves would be a better team if they had got Bauer? Or would this have, uh, or would his personality have been worse? Made the team worse? That's a tough question. I don't know, man. This team right here, man, the team, the Braves way, that stuff is real. Uh, it's anyone that got a bad, like, attitude or something like that, just not going to fit in the clubhouse, to be honest. Hate to be that guy and say that, but, yeah. You got to have clubhouse guys that fit the Braves way. They don't fit the Braves way, they're not going to be in here, plain and simple. Bauer said he would play for the league minimum. Nah, I, I just... If he was an option for Alex Anthopoulos and for Brian Snicker, he would be here. He's not here because he does not fit the Braves' way. That's all to it, guys. You answer your own question when you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? You will answer your own questions when you really think about it. All right, here's one of the pitch. Ball outside. One of those account. All right, top half of the ninth inning. Braves got to make a shake of the game over. Game over, man. All right, two and oh the count. Zaraga up the up the pitch. Here's the one in the pitch. 3 0. Oh, let's go. Hey, we can start the rally right here. We definitely don't do no rally caps, but we can start this rally, though. All right, here's the one in the pitch. Welcome on four pitches. Let's go. All right, love to see that. Let's go. Pintero drawing a walk, inducing a walk. And he's pulling out the sliding glove, so I'm I'm figuring he's a speedy runner. Let's go. I think the biggest difference that I want to see is how um with Coach Ron Washington is not on third base and Eric Young not on first base. I personally feel like that's gonna be a big thing. But shout out to them guys. Uh, Coach Ron Washington being able to be the Angels um skipper. And for Eric Young, I think he went out there to be his uh, right-hand man. So, yeah. Both of them got, you know, raises, so I don't blame them for going and leaving. Good luck to them, as long as they don't play against the Braves. <laughs> and Ron Washington is going to go out there and teach those guys. They starting over, they need a teacher, and Ron Washington is an excellent teacher of man in baseball. I right, wanted to his account. Here's the one in the pitch. Ball fouled off, still one and two. Yeah, that most definitely, man. E E Y and uh and Coach Wash were fan favorites and um player favorites. They really was. They really was. It's the reason why we were one of the most aggressive teams on the base pad. Is because of those two gentlemen had a synergy that you cannot teach. Well, you can teach it because that's what they were doing. A ball hit right there. This might be a double play. That's one. 
And no, the ball got loose. He ran it down and catch. All right, that's it. That's an error. All right, they almost got a double play, but the uh, first baseman couldn't catch it. Way to be John on the spot to run to second base. So he got the force out at uh, second base. Almost a double play. Way to run that ball out. I like that. I think that's Fletcher. First, second time doing that tonight. Oh, no, that wasn't Fletcher. My bad. All right, they tried to du turn a double play, but it didn't work. All right, we got a man on second base. Right, let's go. Come on. Liberato coming up. He's winding the pitch. Ball hit into right field. About the blue. And caught it. All right, good catch in right field. All right, two outs. We're down to our last out, guys. Two outs. Man on second base. Down four runs. Three to um, seven. They don't play overtime in the minor league, so if we tie it up, it'll be 77. But yeah, that's not looking very likely. <laughs> and who's this baby face? Is this Williams? Here's one on the pitch. Ball popped up, and that should be the end of the game. I pop up in the center field. And that's it, guys. That's the end of the spring training game. Atlanta Braves go down 7-3 by the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, great pitching effort by uh, Max Freed. And those, I mean, he shouldn't have got no earned runs, to be honest. But, yeah, uh, bad defense behind him. The good thing is we, he won't have that defense in the regular season. He definitely pitched enough to be a shutout today. He pitched that well today. Defense let him down, gave up three runs. He got taken out of the game out of that. And consequently, the uh, bullpen gave up what they always give up. So, yeah. Uh, how do you think we're going to handle Anthony Rendon not wanting to play and as exaggerate his injuries to get out of playing? Uh, I don't know how they're going to handle it, man. I don't know how they're going to handle it. But, I mean, uh, Anthony Rendon is not going to be a, you know, a relied-on player, so I, I, they're going to handle it how they handle it. It is what it is. We don't know if he exaggerating injuries or not. We don't know. What are you doing? I mean, like, oh, you're talking about for the Angels. Uh, I, I don't think Redon, uh, I don't know. I don't follow their team like that. Yeah, you're talking about the Angel Rendon. I'm sorry. I got what you're saying. Uh, I don't know if he's exaggerating injuries. I mean, word on the street he is, but I mean, that organization is, is terrible. He might want to get traded. Who knows? Why well, should get him out of there if he don't want to play? He, he don't tolerate that. Oh, yeah, just like you said. But I wish, I mean, watch got to work. Look, you already lost the best player of this generation in Ichiro. I mean, not Ichiro. Why I keep calling him Ichiro? I apologize. You already lost the best player of this generation. You know what I'm saying? This generation's Babe Ruth. You know, so you got to look at it like, and the second best player, well, he's older. He's not this generation. It's probably the like, last generation. So you had the two best players but could not win with them. Uh, you kind of got to like start over. I would be in full rebuild mode if I'm the Angels, to be honest. You got the teacher in Ron Washington. I'll be in full re rebuild mode. I'm getting rid of everybody, Rendon. I'm, I'm getting rid of everybody, man. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. But yeah, we up out of here, guys. Braves lose, unfortunately. Want Womp's in the chat. Uh, seven to three. 
Yeah, when you're the Angels, you got the two best players by far in Major League Baseball, cannot even make the playoffs. It's time to hit the reset button. You wasted both of their careers. Yeah, Albert Pujols, you fell off then. So, yeah. Yeah. I, time to hit the reset button. Stop trying to buy people. That's, that's reset. You got the teacher, reset. It's time for a long and lengthy rebuild. It just is. Trade anyone that got value and get assets and build through the draft. That's the only thing I, I got to say about that. But, yeah, we up out of here, guys. You guys have a blessed rest of your day. We will be back for the Atlanta Hawks versus the L.A. Uh, Lakers as the Hawks had their best game of the season last night. On a back-to-back, they played the Clippers, and now they're going to play against the Lakers. So, yeah, guys, uh, please tune in for that. And also, I got to set these games, so I'm about to go ahead and look at the schedule and see what games we're going to um, show for the NCAA tournament and see which one's going to come on. So, yeah, that's going to be impromptu, guys. I got to see which ones are showing on what TV. All right, guys, you guys have a blessed day. Peace up. A-Town down. Deuces.